Hello, so if any of you have used Unity, then you probably, oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm alone, understood the frustration of these Unity events here. Like, they're very nice, they're very handy, you can add different events and you can have them do different things, you know? It's very nice, it's very great, but they're just kind of like, they're hard to work with. Um, if you want to add one, the only way you can do that is to press this button, and then every time you press the button, the button moves, so you can't even spam it. So, like, you know, it takes a while to add a lot. There is a delete keyboard shortcut, but that's, you know, it's kind of lame. Um, and then there's also no way to copy it. So let's say I created, like, this one right here, and I want to copy this. If I add a new one, it just adds a new one, and then I have to do the whole thing again. Well, never fear, because I've spent the last few hours adding some new features that I would like to show you. Um, so first, I added some new keyboard shortcuts. If you press A while hovering over it, it just adds a new one. And the nice part is you can spam this pretty quick. And so then now you can quickly add, let's say I know that I'm going to need like three or four, I just go like that, and then I'm ready, and then I can start dragging and dropping, right? So then you go like, you know, blah, 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 here, which is nice. But let's say you have, let's say I'm really attached to like this one, and this object needs two calls. Well, if you hover over one of them, and you have one of them selected, if you press D, it duplicates it. And then you could go here and change whatever you need to, and then boom, there you go. Now that's pretty cool. Um... But, I have also, and then if you press D, it just creates its own, if there's nothing to select. I have also taken it to the next level. Watch this. Now, you can just grab an object and boop, drag and drop, and it just works. It will automatically add in the object, and you just go like that. Which is crazy helpful. Like, insanely helpful. And this isn't like a custom drawer or anything like that. It just uses the default Unity drawer, but like add some new features to it so it still works just fine it will still update with unity's updates and then to take it to the even next level let's say you have these sticky notes selected boom it'll just add them all in when you drag and drop it is so cool and then you can of course delete them if you don't need them but uh, that is so cool so yeah um i think i might make this code public um if you guys want it if not then i just won't go through the effort all right bye